Hello, people. Welcome to another edition of A Dose of Drew. And uh, we're doing a Black Friday special where there's going to be a lot uh, I'm going to do release. So it is a bit of Friday Night Knives as well as just a Black Friday special. But here's the first one, and it is actually a CJRB Mini Pyrite. Now, anyone who has watched the channel will probably know that uh, the channel is a fan. I am a fan, and uh, most of the people on the channel are a fan of the regular Pyrite. Uh, in many forms here, and it definitely fits into this family of them, um, which was the Pyrite Alt. Um, original Pyrite definitely had uh, the drop point, and the Alt is the utility slash reverse tanto slash warm cliff slash whatever. Right? And we'll get back to that in a minute. But I want to really just, uh, it's definitely the mini. So th there's going to be a bit, a little bit more comparison. But if, for those who have the pyrite, that's probably going to be all you need to see. It's just, it, its entire hand space is about the same as the regular hand space on the regular pyrite without going to the choil. That being said, it is not a bad little button lock. This is the aluminum handled version, it comes in other versions. Um, like in this one, the swirled marbled carbon fiber, uh, pretty large fiber bundles, makes for a nice chatoyance and a little bit just of a difference from some of the other marbled carbon fibers without being just chipboard style. So, but they all have ARRPM9, uh, which is powder metallurgy 9CR18. It's definitely a good all around steel. Um, I'll get back to that side, that in just a minute. Let's get let's get into some of the specific measurements just so you, other than the regular pie right here. It's got about two inches of sharpened edge, just under five and a half inches overall. Um, it's about two and a quarter, three eighths, somewhere around in there from tip to scale. Uh, and one of the other things I can definitely say here is it's lightweight. In fact, just to give you an idea, the heavy one is the aluminum at just under 1.9 ounces. The carbon fiber one is at one, just over 1.6. It's very lightweight. It's the so-called fifth pocket size. Do a little bit of the uh, regular comparisons. I mean, there it is next to the paramilitary two. As you can see, it is tiny. And the para three lightweight in this case, both of these here at S45VN my particular versions. As you can see, it is significantly smaller than both of those. Um, again, it is in the mini section here. And in fact, just to give it a quick little bump, here's one that's going to look good. This is it compared to the Dragonfly 2. So it's actually even just a little bit smaller. Well, having similar, similar, very similar hand space, it ends up being just a tiny bit smaller. Um, the actual inward curve of the dragon flag does give it a little bit more finger space. That curve is greater than this one and gives you a little more space. But the overall length of hand it is really about the same. So there is, that, that's really more of its size range, but we'll continue with the normals because it is just a blur. And not just any leak, but a random leak. And as you can see, it is well in there. And the hand space, again, on this one is about the same as the blur without the choil. Strangely enough, it's almost as much as, or sorry, the leak without a choil is almost as much as the blur. Got the, can't believe I got those two mixed up there for a second. All right. Don't have the, uh, actually have the bent, my bench made in the sharpener right at this moment. So here is the Civivi Elementum, as you can see. Much larger, or this is much smaller. The Elementum is actually much larger comparatively. And this one, of course, makes my Wienar look good. All right. <laughs> For those who need something else, here is the uh, Spartan, I believe it is called, um, uh, for the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tiny. But in, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of hand space, and so we'll get into that right now. That's with the design, aesthetics, mechanics, uh, noteworthy points, intended purpose, cost of value ratio, expectations, and possible requests. I think the request is going to be easy, but we'll get to that when we get there. The design is nice by keeping like so they also have the a small drop point they call the mica, 
<coughs> but the design utilizes the choil. So you got three fingers really with a with a little bit of tail end support that you can get in. Lots of room for three fingers if you have the finger over. And that actually makes this more like a small utility knife where the blade shape is very reminiscent of like the AE, AEBL style utility knives. Has a lot of the same benefits where you have that very acute tip, but lots of control. You'll get approximately similar edge retention as those while having something that's uh, easily more resharpenable and has a, while it's not as thin, it does have a consistent uh, bevel. In fact, let's take a look at what that is. I'd say that's about, you know, 90 thousandths or nine hundredths in the actual and about 18, 17 and a half to 18 thousandths behind the edge. Ooh, Let's see if I can't get that a little bit better. Oh no, that's even thinner. Oh. It's not quite as easy as it looks. <laughs> Get it right there. 15 thousandths is pretty, pretty good. That's pretty slim behind the edge. It might be a little bit more or less than that, probably within a thousandth or two. But yeah, 15 thousandths behind the edge. Pretty slim, nice high flat grind. It's not quite a full flat grind. It's got right through the middle of the uh, deployment hole there which works fantastic. The weight of the blade makes it pretty hard to control and you need a little bit of wrist to get it via the butt lock, but it also makes it incredibly easy to open via the finger. Super snappy because it is such a light weight, it doesn't take much of a flick to really snap it out. And it being small, it is just a little utility knife. It does utility cuts and such incredibly well. It's very slicey. 9CR18 will sharpen on aluminum oxide and Japanese stones and everything else. So it's very easy to sharpen to strop up. If you have diamond or anything like that, this stuff will strop most of the time back to sharp unless it chips or something. So very good in this configuration. Again, they do have higher end handle materials, but... That really doesn't do anything. And it is nested liners on the scale. So it's not like solid scales. It's actually nested, skeletonized steel liners. Um, and it is a, the, the thickness required for the button lock gives it a little bit more substantiation in the hand. <coughs> and the the uh, pinch grip as well as the, the overhand with like the finger kind of style for the my new surface since the last time I did the MSI video, I kind of smashed it. It, it, the scoring cuts or all that sort of stuff like if you want to open up a package or that sort of stuff it is absolutely a package piercer the shrink wrap slicer having that lip, the ability to go in there with your finger and really control where that is and control the tip on something like shrink wrap or bubble wrap really fantastic uh does a great great job just like a utility knife it has a long utility knife blade gives you lots of capability in a small package it is a cardboard carver though it is not something i would recommend for a lot but if you have just a couple of boxes it can actually do it well it may uh, require a little bit of stropping afterwards this is not the highest edge retention it can it can do a, a day's work of of garbage and recycling and that sort of stuff um, before it needs such a such a sharpening and it is of course an envelope eviscerator extraordinaire the shape of the blade lends itself perfectly into getting into an envelope and slicing there's just enough there to get it it works fantastically and it looks cool in the aesthetics of it 
honestly they could have called both the pyrite and kept this the alt pyrite but just having it on there the the utility blade as an edc a fifth pocket a knife you can carry around to do your basic tasks as a utility blade to a tool to carry around it does that job very very well at a lightweight at a low price with the good steel that you can rely on and that's pretty cool and the mechanics of it are i, I don't want to say flawless but Given how it's very linear as it, as it drops, the spring on the button is pretty good. It, normally I would complain about how much it sticks up, but because it's such a small knife, you have to get your finger up. I can't make it go unless I actually push it in there with my finger. My, my fingers are too big to, they straddle the indentation. So it does, it can never, it has to go below to engage. And my fingers just can't do it without straddling the, the uh, the cut out there so it actually works really good it, it gives you a very positive feeling without having to look at it of when you're actually pushing the button and so that is that is an interesting solution and the fact that they went with it, it different from some of their other designs tells me that they actually use the knives and try it a couple times before they release it and that's pretty cool the noteworthy points about it it's tiny Right, this is one of those fifth pocket gentleman knives, or if you, you know, want to, you're taking. I've heard people call them church knives. <coughs> Excuse me. I've heard people call it several different things: church knives and all sorts of other stuff. Fifth pocket knives. Um, if you're someone who works a government job or something like that, like U.S. Postal Service or, or anything like that, where you are limited to be able to carry only small ones. This is a great little uh, inexpensive knife. That's something I'll give it in there. And that's the other thing. It's in, that's its intended purpose. This is just a good little utility blade to carry on there. You can upgrade it for a few bucks to a better hand material. And, and, and there, but it's, it's definite intended purpose. This is an EDC knife, which brings me to the next thing. This treatment right here, the S90V treatment on a small blade that is just for utility like yeah that one is um that to me is a no-brainer uh not worried about shipping s35 vn would be fine s40 any of those where you just increase it a little bit i would actually to me magna cut of course would be great but s90v would really be more the use case for a knife like this if you're going to upgrade it if you have a really really nice one that's there because these are like 40 something 45 50 bucks or something like that it's only a it's like i think this is like 44 or this thing is just under 40 and this is like 45 it's not a lot of money to upgrade the handle material so it's definitely something that could be done for a higher end and put it up as a competitor to some of the um as I was showing before, some of the other upgrades that you can get on something like a Dragonfly 2. Um, it would stay lightweight being able to put something like S90V that for the small utility jobs these things do may never need resharpening or only a couple times in the working life of a small knife like this and the way it does. It just S90V just doesn't do it. The, the toughness you can get with 9CR18 actually eclipses something like S90V. So that, that that would be in there, but in its current state with the aluminum handles, just under two ounces, deep carry clip that is reversible. Um, yeah, bearings, plunge lock or button lock, very flickable. It's under $50 for sure. This is a great value. Its intended purpose is EDC stuff, just a little utility knife, and it does that well. And it's, it does it extraordinarily well. CJRB has great quality control. Their anodization on the uh, aluminum on this is fantastic. It's just got just the right amount of grip. A little bit of jimping for the more sturdy jobs where you're choking up on the choil. But it just has such good things. And they don't prioritize the lanyard tube, but they make sure to make it useful as a lot of people with a small knife like this will use the lanyard as sort of a tail that they can grip um, so that they can get, get a little bit more on a small knife when they need it. And a lot of people will carry this as a second blade. You might, they might carry a larger knife and then carry this as a second. So there's a lot to it that they really took into uh, consideration 
And that's one of the things where on my expectations, I expect it to be good. I expect CJRB uh, quality when I buy a CJRB product. So I expected, I had some high expectations. But their attention to detail on it is something that really surprised me and it's kind of exceeded my expectations. <coughs> Excuse me. Which brings me to the request, as I was mentioned before. The only request I have is give me the carbon fiber with, um, you know, you could do titanium too, but give me a carbon fiber with something like S90V. This to me is one of the better uh, possibilities for something like S90V because it's a do a do all as a utility blade it means that you get something more than like say just a utility knife s90v w would have ridiculous edge retention decent corrosion resistance and for how much edge retention and corrosion resistance pretty good toughness and it's kind of the go-to now instead of magna cut you could do s45 vn too whichever is easier but just anything from s35 vn which to which you could keep the price pretty low up to an S90V version. Uh, S90V to me would be the ideal one to throw in here or something like it. Um, and I'm saying I'm a lot. So S90V would definitely be my choice. But that being said, any upgrade to the steel that would give me a significant increase in edge retention so that I have to sharpen. It's not that this is hard to sharpen. It's just kind of a pain if you have to sharpen this little blade a lot. It just doesn't take a lot to do it. But if you have to do it often, it starts to get old. Um, so having something like an S90V that you can put an edge on once and then use it for a year or two as your secondary carry or, you know, some place where you, you may not want to carry a large knife or like shorts or something like that. This is great. <coughs> you guys will have to please excuse my cold. So yeah, that would be the request part. It's just a higher edge retention blade on such a smaller blade with the good geometry that it has. S90V would work pretty good. And so that's that that gives it a pretty it's a it's a really good knife. This is something that you can put in your gonna buy it for the holidays or buy it for myself, buy it for people. It makes a great gift knife if uh, uh if someone wants it. It comes in pink and all sorts of other colors. So if you, you know a, a girl that might need that, or if you're someone who just likes pink, uh, you don't have to be a girl to like pink. Trust me on that one. You know, real men enjoy pink as well. So you don't have to worry too much about, about that. You really don't. It's it's all sorts of stuff as far as all sorts of colors and, and some handle material changes as well if you want a slight upgrade. Uh, as well as weight reduction, they have they have some premium handle materials. So its design, of course, is is top notch. There's been a lot of thought put into it, um, and they they definitely uh, treat their pyrite right. right. <laughs> the aesthetics, especially, I think, with the Warren Cliff utility blade, which I might start calling these just utility blades, utility style, the the tiny reverse Tonto. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, it looks really good on the aesthetics. The mechanics of it are, they did a great job of tuning it and it really is uh, well worth the name and the quality is there. So that's pretty cool. And the mechanics are great. It's, it's noteworthy in its size as well as its utility. Um, its intended purpose as a little EDC utility blade, it nails right on there and it's at a great cost uh, and price point. Um, and it's, and it, it not only hits the CGRB quality marks, the sheer thought that went into its design and the little tiny details on the knife uh, really kind of give it just that little bit of oomph over the expectations you might have. CGRB really, really put their time and effort into this design. And that puts it up there for such a small knife. I know a lot of people like the bigger knives, but for, for such a small utility, fifth pocket style, very well designed, ergonomic little blade, I'm going to give this one a 94. It is really, really, really nice. Couple of things that could put it up there for me, an S90V blade would be something that would put it up there in the top. For what it is, it's really hard. If I can get an S90V blade or something like it for less than like the Dragonfly 2, it really begs the question, why would I buy another small knife? Um, or something, you know, other than it being a, uh, an American made, something like the TRM a Nerd or like, a you know, as we were just discussing some of the other small knives, it's right up there with all the quality. And if once you increase the uh, 
blade steel. I could do 20 CV. I could see 20 CV as well on something this small with the corrosion resistance and similar toughness and all that sort of stuff. It would be, wouldn't be a bad steel for something like this. But it, in any of those scenarios, that's the one thing that would probably put this up there. While it would increase the cost, the utility value of it would go up uh, uh, at least in this as far as the cost goes, if not more. And that's really where I'm going to leave it. Very good knife, you guys. This is something that is well worth the money. Great gift ideas, Black Fridays and all that sort of stuff. So very, very good idea, gift idea. Nothing wrong with having a couple of them. You can get two of them for the price of some other great knives that are really, uh, you know, up there. And, and uh, get yourself a gift pack. It's not for those of you who aren't on this is coming out on black friday 2023 for those who may watch this at a different time but that uh this is a great gift idea it's a good knife and if you're and if you have a need a use case or just a desire and like for small knives this one is well worth looking at uh, in case you hadn't already got that that's something to put out there so <coughs> as you can tell i have a bit of a cold so for everyone out there, 94 on the 100, it is way up there. I really, really did well on that. Um, you know, it, it doesn't have the panache, but it's definitely got the quality and the execution. The mechanics of it are really hard to beat. And, and for just a general all-around utility knife, that you if you don't use one very often, this configuration is fantastic. And now uh, we're gonna leave it right there. Go ahead, take this video, watch it twice, comment as much as you like, be mindful of side effects. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been your Dose of Drew. I am said Drew, and you guys have a great rest of your night.